Grubhub is thrilled to be a sponsor for the Girl Scouts of Northern California at the Honoring Girl Scout Heroes event. Thank you for having us here and providing an opportunity to speak to our partnership. Grubhub provides a unique experience for girls, which includes running their very own virtual cookie booth on the Grubhub Marketplace. It's our mission to support girls who choose to participate by creating opportunities to further develop in five key ways, all within the digital delivery landscape. Develop a strong sense of self by rising to the challenge of connecting cookies to diners in a new virtual landscape. Seek challenges and learn from setbacks while managing your troop satellite location. Develop your plan for packaging and order fulfillment and learn from missteps. Display positive values by practicing safe commerce through the Grubhub marketplace. Form and maintain healthy relationships by working together to safely package and fulfill Grubhub orders. Lastly, identify and solve problems that may arise during selling hours. Learn to manage a business and reflect on ways to improve operations. Grubhub is also continuing to find ways to support our communities through various programs and donations. To call out a few, we've raised $20 million and donated nearly 850,000 meals with our Grubhub Community Relief Fund, providing meals to feed the front lines and funds to support both drivers and restaurants. Our Donate the Change program has raised over $16 million for No Kid Hungry since launching in 2018. We're laser focused on giving back to our communities and most importantly, supporting Girl Scouts to connect hungry diners to the nation's most beloved cookies. Thank you for having us.
Grubhub is thrilled to be a sponsor for the Girl Scouts of Northern California at the Honoring Girl Scout Heroes event. Thank you for having us here and providing an opportunity to speak to our partnership. Grubhub provides a unique experience for girls, which includes running their very own virtual cookie booth on the Grubhub Marketplace. It's our mission to support girls who choose to participate by creating opportunities to further develop in five key ways, all within the digital delivery landscape. Develop a strong sense of self by rising to the challenge of connecting cookies to diners in a new virtual landscape. Seek challenges and learn from setbacks while managing your troop's satellite location. Develop your plan for packaging, order fulfillment, and learn from missteps. Display positive values by practicing safe commerce through the Grubhub marketplace. Form and maintain healthy relationships by working together to safely package and fulfill Grubhub orders. Lastly, identify and solve problems that may arise during selling hours. Learn to manage a business and reflect on ways to improve operations. Grubhub is also continuing to find ways to support our communities through various programs and donations. To call out a few, we've raised $20 million and donated nearly 850,000 meals with our Grubhub Community Relief Fund, providing meals to feed the front lines and funds to support both drivers and restaurants. Our Donate the Change program has raised over $16 million for No Kid Hungry since launching in 2018. We're laser focused on giving back to our communities and most importantly, supporting Girl Scouts to connect hungry diners to the nation's most beloved cookies. Thank you for having us. Now in each and every one of you, there is a light, a spirit that cannot be snuffed out, that won't give up. I need your help again. I need you to hope. Hope that you will remember that you can all be heroes. I am Supergirl.
because no matter how small an act of kindness or generosity or simple positivity you put out in the world, it will make a difference. I am Wonder Woman. It is not what you deserve, it is what you believe. My name is Emily the Clement Warrior. But everybody's story begins once upon a time, and it's us to us to cherish the time we are given to ensure we live happily ever after. Scarlet Witch. You always have your thoughts and dreams ahead of you. You are someone. You mean something. I am Becca. Hi, everyone. Welcome. So happy to have all of you here today for our Honoring Girl Scout Heroes celebration. Uh, it's a celebration of courageous leadership. That was such a fun introduction that we just heard to today's program and so fitting for our theme. So I am Marina Park. I'm the CEO of Girl Scouts of Northern California. Before I introduce our wonderful Girl Scout MC for tonight, I do want to recognize that we are all together living through some pretty challenging times. Of course, we have COVID happening. We have wildfires. We have social injustice. We're living through this together. And um, I just want to acknowledge all of that. And I want to just reinforce the importance of the work that we're doing in Girl Scouts in Northern California during these times for our, for our girls, keeping their needs and safety at the very top of our priorities while providing programs for girls where they all feel like they belong and are accepted. Today, your support for our Opportunity Fund means that girls and troops who live in low-income communities or who've been impacted by local disasters like wildfires are able to access the Girl Scout programs that our girls say are so meaningful to them and provide so much support for them. I wanna share a quote from one of our participants who says it so much better than I can. The experiences that have impacted me the most were ones when I personally made growth, became a better person and changed the world. I love working in Girl Scouts and just being kind to individuals and the earth. I love the feeling after you have given kindness, you can fill your own bucket and someone else's as well. Thank you so much in advance for being here to celebrate and appreciate our heroes. And thank you so much for your generosity. I hope you will have some fun this afternoon too. And now on with the show. So I am delighted to introduce just one of our inspiring Girl Scouts and your mistress of ceremonies today, Rhea Prabhakar. Rhea is a current senior at Evergreen Valley High School in San Jose and has been a part of Girl Scouts since the second grade. Rhea is one of this year's two Girl Scout board participants on our board of directors. This is such an important role in our council it is so important in Girl Scouts that we always center the voice of our girls. We listen to the girls. We are a girl-led organization and we follow our lead. And Rhea and our other girl board participant this year, Emily, who you will meet later, they are so important to making sure that our board and Girl Scouts in Northern California are where girls need us to be. Rhea is currently working on her Gold Award project, Flourish, Magazines, a woman's empowerment magazine. She's earned her bronze and her silver awards as well. Outside of Girl Scouts, Rhea is an attorney on the mock trial team, serves as president of her high school's National Honor Society, and has started a math tutoring business for elementary to high school students. In her free time, Rhea enjoys baking, going on nature walks, and spending time with friends and family. And yes, Rhea has also found time to MC today's event. So without further ado, I'm really happy to turn today's program over to Rhea Prabhakar. Thank you, Marina. It's my pleasure to be here. And thanks to Girl Scouts for giving me and my fellow Girl Scout sisters leadership opportunities like this. Today, we're here to celebrate the hero in each of us. 
Whether you've been working on the front lines in the local hospitals, managed or managing distance learning for your child in school, or you are our teachers who mastered how to teach kids in a virtual classroom, we are all heroes in our own way. So take a moment and please give yourselves a pat on the back for a job well done. Thank you all for joining us today. I hope you will all walk away feeling inspired by your connection with Girl Scouts and accomplished for what we are doing collectively for girls like me in our communities. And most importantly, that you'll have some fun. Before we start, I do want to take a huge moment to thank all of our sponsors who helped make this event happen. Beginning with our presenting sponsor, Salesforce.com, Senior Star Sponsors, Heritage Link of Commerce, Catalyst Par Partner and Simpson Strong Tie, and a special thanks to all of our sponsors. Many of you are on call today, so thank you for your support. Before we go any further, I do want to take a minute to introduce my partner in the studio with me and our auctioner, aka Maestro of Fun, Mr. Michael Tate. Michael, can we start by giving something away to our guests? Well, good evening, Rhea. It is so good to be here celebrating our heroes and heroines in Girl Scouts. First, I want to tell you it is such an honor to be sharing the virtual stage with such an accomplished young woman. I'm sure your family is incredibly proud of you. And on a personal note, in getting to know Rhea, I discovered that one of the schools she's applying to is my alma mater, Brown University. So I'm going to be cheering for her and doing everything I can. So excited for her. She's a delightful young woman. Now, about getting that fun started, in addition, to, in addition to raising funds, I love to give things away. But before we start that, I want to take a minute to make sure everyone knows how to get in on all of the action tonight. First of all, if you haven't particip participated in our chat yet, I want you to turn your attention to the chat box on the right of your screen. Feel free to say hello to other attendees, give a shout out to our honorees or Girl Scouts throughout the event. So go ahead, give it a try. Now remember, as a reminder, we have so many wonderful people participating today. So maybe some of your comments might be a little slow there, but keep letting us know that you're there and having a good time. This chat box will be very important later in the show when we do our last year old standing for those donors who are able to contribute $50. So that's a little teaser. You want to stick around because we have a wonderful opportunity, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Let's see, I can see the chats are starting to come in. There's a show, someone has Heidi Klum as a GIF or GIF. I don't know, you say it the way you want it, but you're having a good time in chat. Now, remember, if you didn't pre-register for our auction, I invite you to visit the Honoring Girl Scout Heroes giving page. And the address is that is gshero.ggo.bid. Again, gshero.ggo.bid. You can use your smartphone, tablet, or open a new window if you're on your laptop or desktop. Once you get to that page, you're gonna click Getting Started, and that will take you to a page where you can click on Create Account. After you enter your email address, you'll receive an email to complete the registration process. It's super easy and it takes about two minutes. So I advise you the best experience for this evening's whole show is to watch it on two screens, one to watch the show and another to bid in the online auction or participate in our Fund the Future later on in the show. That's all you need to do. Now, as a quick reminder, as you're seeing some of those online auction items, the auction closes this Sunday, September 26th at 12 noon Pacific time. Now, if you're having any problems getting registered or logged in, please contact our help folks at 408-623-5425. Now, we've taken care of the housekeeping and those details. Our prize patrol has spun that wheel of names. So let's see who gets our first giveaway. I see it is coming to a halt and it is on Erica Rottenberg. Congratulations, Erica Rottenberg. Yes, you are the winner of a box of Girl Scouts newest cookie, Adventurefuls, and a superhero mug. Thank you for being here. Our team will reach out to you separately to arrange delivery or pickup of your items. Saria, can we get this celebration started? Yes, it is a time-honored Girl Scout tradition to open an event with the Girl Scout flag ceremony and to recite the Girl Scout promise. Last year, Girl Scouts was invited to participate in the virtual inauguration with a virtual Pledge of Allegiance to kick off the ceremonies. Please join me and my Girl Scout sisters from across the nation for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by one of our local troops reciting the Girl Scout promise. 
feel free to participate with us at home. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Girl Scouts, friends, and families, please stand and join Girl Scout of Northern California's Troop 6 Year 407 in the Girl Scout Promise. Please raise your right hand in the Promise Salute. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Thank you. Now, it is my honor to introduce my fellow Girl Scout and Girl Board participant who will lead us in our awards presentation, Emily Burr. Emily is a senior at Vanden High School in Fairfield. She has been a Girl Scout since the second grade, and within Girl Scout, she has completed her gold, silver, and bronze awards. She enjoys volunteering with the Contra Costa Food Bank and has received the Gold Presidential Volunteer Service Award. Her most treasured Girl Scout memory includes attending camp and becoming a counselor in training during the summer of 2020. As 21st Squadron Commander in the Air Force Junior ROTC program, she's in charge of the drills and the special teams. Emily enjoys powerlifting and swims on the varsity swim team. She hopes to inspire girls in her community, as well as gain additional leadership skills by serving on the board of directors as a girl board participant. Take it away, Emily. Thanks, Rhea. I am always so inspired when I hear about women who have done amazing things in the world and discover that they too were Girl Scouts. I am excited about the possibilities that could be offered to me as a future leader. I could be the next CFO of Zoom Communications, like Kelly Stuckelberg, or the next PA announcer, of the San Francisco Giants, like Dr. Ronell Brooks Moon. I could be the next county health officer in the medical field, like Dr. Sarah Cody, or be a senior director of product management at Google and develop amazing technology that keeps people safe during a pandemic, like Stephanie Hannon. In fact, I can even be an engineer by day and a captain of an all volunteer fire department by night, like Captain Ann Gabries. The possibilities are endless, and it is my privilege to be able to present superhero awards to each of these Girl Scout alumni for their courageous leadership during 2020 and 2021. We all know the past year and a half has been challenging in so many ways, but one of the highlights is knowing organizations like Girl Scout exist to help keep girls like me engaged and continuing to thrive in spite of what is happening in the world. It is my honor now to celebrate and present the first award to Dr. Rennell Brooks Moon. We are celebrating you as a Girl Scout superhero for your work on increasing awareness of the Black Lives Matter movement and social justice needs in the community. You are truly an inspiration on and off the field. And for that, we want to honor you. This superhero award is presented to Dr. Rennell Brooks Moon for innovating, inspiring others, and invoking change in our community. Oh, got it. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you so much, Girl Scouts of Northern California. This is a full circle moment for me. This award means so much because I am a former Girl Scout and top cookie seller for several years in a row. But what I have learned in my old age is that I had no idea how much my Girl Scout experience was going to lay the foundation for my life's work and my career. I learned hard work and discipline and teamwork and community service and the power of female friendships and the importance of valuing those friendships and lifting up other girls and women. So this is so full circle and I'm just so moved by it. And in the spirit of sisterhood, I wanna shout out my fellow honorees tonight, Dr. Sarah, Stephanie, Kelly, and Ann. Bravo to all of you. I am inspired by all of you. And it truly is an honor to be included in your company tonight. So cheers to my sister friends out there. Um, I just am so moved by this. And I'd like to dedicate this to the memory of my, my late daddy and I'll I'll share that with you as we continue our conversation. Thank you so much for being here, Ronelle. I have a couple questions for you, if you don't mind. Sure, let's go. Since this is a superhero event, I'd love to know, what do you think your superpower is? 
I think my superpower is empathy. I think that's a superpower. I um, try to lead with compassion and have empathy for others and those that are less fortunate in our community, the marginalized communities. Um, and, and that's how I was raised. I was raised by two wonderful role models, career educators and community activists who led with empathy. And um, I think I think that's that's my superpower. I, I, I have a big heart, I have a lot of compassion, and I just want to make the world a better place for everyone. That makes me so happy. I like that superpower. Um, my next question is, what motivated you to use your platform to talk about racial and social justice issues? Well, you know, I've been doing it my entire career. I've been speaking out my entire career. Before I was hired by the Giants in 2000, I was on local radio for 35 years and realized throughout my radio career that I can use my voice uh, off the air and in other arenas, so to speak, um, to focus on issues that really matter to me and to my community. So I've been doing this a long time. And then, like I said, I was, I was raised by two very strong, powerful uh, community activists as well. But um, in particular last year, um, not having a, a black player on the Giants roster last year, I felt it was my responsibility as the black face of the organization to speak out about the BLM movement last year, uh, particularly because Major League Baseball took a long time um, to speak out after the murder of George Floyd. And I kind of had to call him out on that. I, I was like, this is the league of Jackie Robinson. We must do better. So um, I really felt it was important for me to really speak out last year in a, in a way I probably really haven't as Giants PA announcer for 22 years now. Wow, you're so inspiring. Thank and you. What unexpected impact has this involvement had in your community? You know, I've been very surprised, pleasantly surprised, um, by the overwhelming feedback and outreach that I got from my colleagues and coworkers, and but especially from our fan base who I, I, I wasn't expecting to get so many emails and DMs from our, our Giants fans, even though I, you know, I know, you know, they, they, they've got our back on, on, on these issues for the most part, most of them do, right? Mm -hmm. um, but to have them take the time to reach out and send me really meaningful emails and DMs and say, you know, thank you for everything that you're doing. We've, we've got your back 100%, we're with you. What can we do? How can I be a better ally? So I'm very proud of, of that um, communication that I've had with the fans over the last 18 months. And um, it, that's what really surprised me the most and and warmed my heart at the same time, I have to say, because I didn't exp I didn't see it coming. You know, I was ready to take some hits, which I did. I took a few hits, but um, the overwhelming outpouring of support was a pleasant, pleasant surprise. You are such an inspiration for all girls. And thank you so much for sharing today. And by the way, I do understand that you celebrated a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Emily. Yes, I'm now 100 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much. And real quick, I just want to dedicate this award to the memory of my late father, who was the first black high school principal in San Francisco. He is a trailblazer in his own right. Uh, community activist. This is his face and his voice. And uh, all of my work that I do is to honor his legacy. So thank you so much, Emily. It's so nice meeting you. Our next honoree, Dr. Sarah Cody, is being honored for her work leading the efforts in the fight against COVID-19 in Santa Clara County. Dr. Cody, your prompt response and early advocacy of measures that limited the spread of the disease was courageous, and for that, we honor you. This Superhero Award is presented to Dr. Sarah Cody for innovating, inspiring others, and invoking change in our community. Thank you so much for this award. It is a real honor um, to receive this award from the Girl Scouts. I was a Girl Scout once long ago, and I think that that was really the earliest seeds 
of my uh, dedication to service. Um, thank you so much. And thank you for being here with us today, Dr. Cody. I have a couple questions to ask you while we're here, if you don't mind. Of course. Great. What gave you the courage to make a tough decision like recommending shelter in a place in Santa Clara County when COVID first started? I, I think there are a number of things. Uh, one is just experience and comfort in, in making public health decisions. Uh, and the other is I have a very strong public health community here. So I had um, so much support from colleagues in the county. And of course, this decision was made in collaboration with my public health colleagues around the Bay Area. Uh, and that also made it uh, uh, easier in a way uh, because I had so many thought partners uh, that, that, that helped me. And what advice would you give to others who faced with making similar tough decisions like this? I think you just have to sometimes slow down. Things are happening really fast in a crisis, but you just have to slow down and check yourself and walk yourself through the decision and, and um, consult people that you trust and that you know so that they'll help, uh, help you think through your decision and make sure that it's really solid and you've thought about it as deeply as you can um, before, before you go ahead and enact the decision. No, wow, I, I agree. And wow, just taking the courage and being courageous like you are, that really makes you a superhero today. And what do you say your superpower would be? I think maybe my superpower is uh, flexibility. I think working, um, working in government, uh, you really need flexibility and patience. Wow, and the world needs more superheroes like you. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Next, we have Captain Ann Gabries. Captain Gabries is being honored for her work keeping us and our loved camp properties safe during the California wildfires. Captain Gabries, we honor your commitment to being on the front lines in any emergency and for giving back to your community as a volunteer. This superhero award is presented to Captain Ann Gabries for innovating, inspiring others, and invoking change in our community. Thank you very much for honoring me with this award. Um, again, it's not it's not something that I would have expected to receive, especially last year. It's you know we we're only doing what came naturally and supporting our local communities. Um, but but particularly you know coming from the Girl Scouts when I was younger, I did move around a lot uh, when I was a kid, and uh, community is important to me, and it was definitely uh, an important way for me to get involved in my local community and, um, and you know, be a, be a part of something very new to me each time. It is so great to meet you and to get to learn more about your work as a firefighter. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Absolutely. I've asked our other honorees, so I'd like to ask you too, what is your superpower? My superpower, if I had to pick one, is sheer determination. <laughs> because in both my working life as an engineer and uh, my volunteer life as a firefighter, um, you know, it's a tough job. And, uh, and it's important to, to remember why I'm doing all of this in the first place and to just stick with it when it, when it really gets tough. That's so cool. And my next question is, what are you most proud of in your work, both as an engineer and as a firefighter? Um, so what I'm most proud of, um, actually, it's a it, couple of different things. So one is, again, it's the ability, like I said before, determination, knowing what's important to you is to just, you know, stay with what, what drove me in the first place, you know, stay true to myself. It's never steered me wrong. But in both cases, I've been lucky enough to find uh, find a niche in engineering and through volunteer service with the community that allows me to give back uh, in a very meaningful way. Last question, what advice or encouragement would you give to a Girl Scout who might want to become a firefighter when they grow up? 
Advice and encouragement is it is a very tough job. It has a lot of responsibility because you are serving the community and whether it's in a career or a volunteer capacity, someone calls 911, they need help. And, you know, that's something to be taken very seriously. Um, but uh, even though it is very difficult and, and bears a great responsibility, it's also very, very rewarding because oftentimes, you know, we see people on the worst day of their life and it's, it's a privilege to hopefully be able to make that day just a little bit better for them. Thank you so much for sharing with me today. Thank you, it was a pleasure. Our next honoree, Stephanie Hannon, is being honored for her leadership on early COVID contact tracing and for leading the efforts on the collaboration between Google and Apple on the California Notify app. This innovative technology has really made a difference in slowing the spread of the disease. And for that, we celebrate your work. This superhero award is presented to Stephanie Hannon for innovating, inspiring others, and invoking change in our community. Thank you, Emily. It's a huge honor. I so appreciate it. So while we get started, I wanted to know what's your connection to Girl Scouts? And what does this honor mean to you? Well, I was a Girl Scout, a brownie, but I never made it to the amazing level you have of all the way up to the gold award. But I was called in 2013 by Marina Park, the CEO of Girl Scouts of Northern California, and she asked me to be on the board. And I thought it was the most amazing opportunity because I'm a woman computer scientist and there just aren't enough women and young girls who choose to go into this area. And so I thought the values of courage, uh, confidence, and character were the most important things you can help young girls um, grow and helping young women choose technology was really exciting. And it was just a huge honor to be asked to be on the board. So I served um, on the board for three years until I went in 2015 to work for Hillary Clinton, which was also a great adventure. Um, and I'm just really proud of my time there. My favorite Girl Scout memory was being at Camp CEO at Camp Sugar Pine um, and just getting to hang out and do amazing things like rope courses with Girl Scouts. Wow, that is really inspiring. My first question is, what was it like to collaborate with major companies to come up with useful technology in such a short period of time? Well, first, I just want to say I am um, the real heroes of the pandemic response are all the first responders, the doctors, all the people taking care of the public health workers in California and everywhere. So as a technologist in this type of crisis, you want to figure out how technology can help. And to your question, the most amazing thing was coming together with Apple because in almost every other area, Apple and Google are very competitive. But the thing we wanted to do was to try to use Bluetooth on your phone to approximate distance and keep an anonymous history of all the other phones you've been near. So if somebody got sick, you could notify people who'd been exposed. And that requires a lot of using Bluetooth and power management and it's things only Apple and Google could do. And the most amazing thing is we came together in just six weeks to build it and we launched it and now have more than 70 countries and states using it. And in California, we have more than 11 million users. So that means almost one in four people in California are being protected by the system. So the sort of amazing thing was the collaboration between Apple and Google, and then the ability to help all around the world in preventing the spread. Wow, that is truly amazing. A follow-up question, what unexpected impact does this technology have on our community? I think one unexpected impact is how helpful it's been in people returning to somewhat normal life. I know we're all still living in a very severe pandemic, but having this technology has helped people feel comfortable being in public spaces, riding transit, going into the office, because the real difference between traditional contact tracing and what we've built, this exposure notification platform, is it can alert you if you've been exposed by a stranger. Normally, you can only get exposed uh, a phone call from a contact tracer if it's somebody who knows you. This technology is anonymous and can help even with strangers. So I think the best unintended consequence is um, helping people get back to their normal life. On the other side, there's also apprehension about big tech and sort of, is my government tracing me? Does everyone know if I'm sick? And sort of it's one of the first pioneering, I think, public health tools. So it's also sort of catalyze a lot of important conversations about technology and public health and how we can do things safely and, and make people feel comfortable with technology. Wow, your responses are really amazing. 
And my last question, this is a fun one, but since we're here today honoring you, a superhero, what would you say your superpower is? Well, that is a really fun question and one nobody has asked me. So I spent some time thinking about it. And I think one of my superpowers is emotional intelligence, which just means thinking about, talking about, making it okay to talk about emotions at work. And when you work on a project like this, that's about the pandemic and people getting sick and people dying, and it's really scary, I think it's more really important to make it okay to say, I'm sad, I'm scared, I'm tired, I'm happy, I've had a good day, I've had a bad day. Um, just sort of making it okay to talk about that at work and modeling talking about that at work, I think is one of my superpowers and something I'm really proud of. I love that so much. Thank you for being here today. And thank you for being a hero in our community. Thank you. It's a huge honor. I'm so proud to be a part of the Girl Scouts and this community. Our final honoree today is Kelly Stuckelberg. Kelly, you're being honored today for your work keeping us connected during the pandemic through the powerhouse technology of Zoom communications. This tool has been critically important for us to continue to collaborate at work and school and stay in touch with friends and family despite social distancing requirements. For that, we honor your leadership. This Superhero Award is presented to Kelly Stuckelberg for innovating, inspiring others, and invoking change in our community. Thank you, Emily. I am so honored to receive this award today. You know, uh, Girl Scouts was a big part of my life when I was growing up. Starting off really young, I was a Brownie and then a Girl Scout. And my first ever sleepaway camp was a Girl Scout camp, which really helped start to establish my own independence. And for that, I'm forever grateful. So thank you for honoring me with this today. Kelly, we are so excited to get to honor you today. And I'd like to start off by asking you, what do you think your superpower is? So my superpower is baking. It's a great opportunity to celebrate special events. It brings people together. And of course, most of the time, it tastes delicious too. That's a great superpower to have. Thank you for sharing. And I'd like to ask, did you and the other executives at Zoom ever imagine the world would be using your technology so much like it is today? Emily, we never imagined this. When I started working at Zoom a little under four years ago, I had to explain to people what Zoom was. They didn't really understand it, unless maybe they used it at work. And that has changed dramatically over the last couple of years. And I think the fact that we even started to hear about it in pop culture and people tweeting about the things they're doing on Zoom really changed everything about the company and our brand awareness. Wow. Follow-up question. What are you most proud of in your work at Zoom and how has it impacted the community? I think I'm the most proud of that not only have we kept people connected for work over the last 18 months, but during these very disconnected times, we have connected them personally as well. We have seen amazing things happen on our platform, people getting married, people getting engaged, people completing adoptions. So it's been such an amazing experience to have people trust us with these major milestones in their lives. And we're very grateful that they let us do that for them. I would be proud of that too. And I thank you for your time today and allowing Girl Scouts to celebrate your work. Thank you, Emily. It was an honor to be here with you and congratulations on all your achievements. I hope you all are as inspired by our honorees as I am. I know I'm ready to get out in the world and be a girl of courage, confidence, and character and definitely make the world a better place. Now back to you, Rhea. Just hearing our honoree stories makes me so proud to be a Girl Scout, and I love each of their superpowers. I had so much fun giving away a prize earlier, so let's do it again. The next prize is going to the person who was really paying attention during our awards presentation. The first person that can put in the chat what Kelly Steckelberg's superpower is wins it. Ready, set, go. Thanks so much, Rhea. Hopefully you all were paying attention because we're going to find a winner. I just want to make a quick reminder, if you want to become a supporter tonight, I encourage you now to set up your information on our Greater Giving page. That's GSHERO 
www.ggo.bid. Again, we'll post those instructions in the chat one more time. Now, it's almost time for you to be a hero for girls in your community. Once you're logged in, you can take a look at all those enticing auction items. Now, who wouldn't want to have one-on-one -on -one time with Dr. Rennell Brooks-Moon? You heard from her as she was one of our honorees, and she'd be a wonderful person to spend some time with. The bidding is open now for that item, as well as some fun Girl Scout items, like these cute Build-A-Bear Girl Scouts. Where's that Build-A-Bear? Here she is. Look at that, who would not want her? I love this. Now, all of the funds raised tonight support our opportunity fund, so go bid and show us your superpowers. Now, thank you, that's gonna be Rhea, but we've got our winner. I am so excited to tell you our winner who knew Kelly Steckelberg's superpower is Peg McAllister. Peg McAllister, congratulations, Rhea. Thank you, Michael, for that reminder. There really are some great items in our online auction. Do you all remember when we said we would have a special guest during this event? Well, you're all in for a treat. It is my pleasure to introduce the Interim Chief Executive Officer for Girl Scouts of the USA, Judith Batty. Welcome, Ms. Batty. We're so glad you were able to join us tonight. Thanks for that introduction, Rhea. I'm so excited to be here tonight to celebrate with you and to recognize the superheroes in Northern California, including all of the current Girl Scouts, like yourself. Girl Scouts are superheroes in their communities. Even during difficult times, they're exploring the world around them, identifying problems, and working together on solutions. It takes courage, confidence, and character to be a hero. Courage to speak out and take action on what you believe in, and confidence to understand the power you have to have an impact and change the world, and character to pick yourself up when you fall down and to rise up and meet the challenges that face you. I wanna say a big congratulations to the past, present, and future Girl Scouts for the amazing things you have achieved and all I know you will accomplish in the future. And now it's my pleasure to introduce a Girl Scout who has demonstrated each of these hero qualities. Jessica Pama Barrios is a senior in high school. She attends University Preparatory School in Reading, where she is a varsity cheerleader. Jessica has participated in Girl Scout camps for the past two years, and she has really enjoyed making connections through outdoor experiences. She plans to return next year to camp as a counselor. Outside of Girl Scouts and school, Jessica likes to spend her time staying active by exercising and plant shopping with her mom. Jessica is taking the lead and challenging herself, and she possesses the courage, confidence, and character of a true Girl Scout. Let's hear from Jessica now. Being a part of a big organization like the Girl Scouts has had one of the biggest impacts in my life. It's given me the chance to thrive and grow. Over the past two years, I've been a part of Girl Scouts through the outdoor program, and I've been lucky enough to have attended camp at Skylark Ranch, Sugar Pine, and Bethany. Spending days and nights with girls who comfort and encourage you in hard times will help you overcome a fear, and our understanding of your emotions helps you become a better person. And I was one of those girls. The best part of camp is knowing that when you leave, you have accomplished something so special. My favorite part about being involved with the Girl Scouts is the different opportunities they give us. If it wasn't for Girl Scouts, I wouldn't be where I am today. I've had all different types of experiences with Girl Scouts, emotionally and physically. Camp this year wasn't like the rest, which made it unique in its own way. I learned to be more grateful. <laughs> this year, we had to make our own food, and what it made us realize is that it was hard. We understood how we should be more grateful for the warm food that's on our tables at home. Camp gave multiple girls an eye-opening experience that we should all go through to understand how and why we should appreciate the things that we have at home because not everyone is able to have what we do. I was challenged to step out of my comfort zone almost every day, but the most challenging thing for me was the high ropes course. I absolutely did not intend on doing it, but the girls who I was surrounded by made me feel comfortable and they encouraged me. I want other girls to know that Girl Scouts can change your life in different ways. There are things that you would never experience outside of camp, like being able to say you rode a horse, being so close to nature, 
and sleeping under the stars knowing that there's probably a deer eating leftovers from dinner. One of my favorite things that you experience at camp is learning more about who you are as a person. When I was a counselor in training, I learned so much about myself. I grew emotionally and mentally as a person. Camp helped me become a better, le become a leader, and that's what I want for other girls. That's why I hope to come back next year as a camp counselor. I will forever be grateful for the Girl Scouts for giving me a ch the chance to do things that I would have never done through the camp experience. Thank you. You have given girls of all ages and from all different cultural backgrounds the opportunity to experience things so special and memorable. The memories we make as teens and kids will last a lifetime. Thank you so much, Jessica, for having the courage to share your story with all of us here this evening. Now let's give her a round of applause. Go ahead, use those emojis in the chat. We are so proud of Jessica and Emily and Rhea and all of our wonderful scouts. Now tonight, you have the opportunity to become a hero for girls just like Jessica in your community. So I hope you took the time to set up that giving profile. If not, you still can do it. Coming up on the screen now are instructions for how to get started. Also, if you don't wanna create a login, you can do what we're calling kind of our express setup for the giving page. All you need to do is text HERO, that's H-E-R-O, to 366-283. You'll get a link and you'll be able to take the steps to go ahead and set that up and make a gift immediately. Now tonight, you've heard from so many of our young women and our, our heroes who we're honoring about the opportunity, about the difference it makes to be a Girl Scout, whether you were in it for just a few years or like Rhea and Jessica for 10 years or more. It's called the Opportunity Fund. And the Opportunity Fund provides financial support for girls and troops who live in low-income communities or live in communities recovering from disasters. These funds assist with supplies, transportation, scholarships for overnight camp, which we heard from so many of our young women this evening, and where volunteers aren't available to lead troops, staff support to help those troops. Through your generosity tonight, the council can continue its critical work, building a membership that reflects the diversity of the communities we serve. And equally important to equip more girls with the skills that will help them empower themselves for a lifetime of leadership, success, and adventure. So let's get started. I'm gonna be audacious, but I am so excited. I can literally feel the energy coming through the screen. I'm watching the chat and seeing you all give each other so much support and so much love about what it means to be a Girl Scout. So our first gift level is $2,500, but I'm gonna invite anyone. We didn't know, I'm gonna be audacious and invite you, maybe if there are gifts, maybe at 3,000 or 5,000, we'd love for you to be able to stretch if you're able. So I'm gonna keep an eye, I'm watching as the gifts will start to come in. And you know, this is technology and it's live. So we are just watching it. I know for some of you, you're getting your accounts finally set up, finding those buttons to be able to make those gifts and for those to start coming in. So let's take a peek. We're gonna keep our eye on what is happening. Let's see, yes, thank you so much, Sarah. Put in chat and just reminded people how they can make their donation. Again, by texting HERO to 366-283. That's HERO, 366-283. So let's take a look. I'm gonna see, I have my older eyes. I'm trying to see if I can make this, if my friends can make this a little bit bigger on the screen for me. But we're, I think we're at at least $3,000 has just come in. We have $3,000 has come in and I wanna, I'm gonna acknowledge that person and I'm gonna thank you all so much. There's so many places you could be, but I know that you all are here because you are passionate about Girl Scouts and you know the power and the difference it can make for the young women. Let's just make it big. So let's take a look. We've got this amazing thermometer. And again, we're starting off being audacious. Here we go, that's fantastic. So we are already up to $16,350. And I am keeping my eye. There are some of you who are making gifts before I even ask for them. So I wanna acknowledge your generosity. So we love Anonymous. I love our friend Anonymous at $100. Thank you, Anonymous. We have Maggie Nguyen. Thank you, Maggie, also at $100. We have Patricia Becker. Thank you, Patricia. And we have Kate Pennington. And let's see, we have Cindy. 
Cindy Benson. So again, we're at the now at the $2,500 level. If there's anyone who can make a gift at that level, and I see, oh, I see a $5,000 gift. You slid across my screen, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And we have Ellen, Ellen Birmingham at $5,000. Thank you so much, Ellen. That is amazing. Such a way to kick things off. And all of you, again, I'm here to tell you whether you're able to get 5,000, 10,000 or $10, every dollar absolutely makes a difference. So I just wanna invite you all to help with that. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about that $2,500 level. We mentioned it, we kicked it off. That helps a girl to go like Jessica, and she talked about to have three weeks of summer camp, three weeks of summer camp for the $2,500. What I love about this is this also includes an introductory field trip for her family. So the family is comfortable sending their young daughter to camp along with some of the necessary equipment to make a great camp experience. So I can see you all are chiming right in. I see, let's see, who else do we have? We have Diana Bell. Thank you, Diana, at $2,500. I struck a nerve and that meant something to you. Perhaps you were one of our young women who had that opportunity to go overnight camping. Perhaps you have a daughter or niece, or you were just passionate about helping young women become everyday heroes to raise themselves up. Again, I keep looking at my co-host Rhea, watching what we heard with Jessica and Emily and all that generosity. And then we have Ginger Bryant. Thank you, Ginger, also at $2,500. We are chugging right along. If you can see that thermometer, like I can see that thermometer, you can tell things are going amazingly well. We are making our way up. So I'm going to invite you, I'm going to move on to the next level is $1,000. And I already saw Leinani, your name came up Leinani and it went away and there's Steph Hannon at $2,500. I'm catching up and you are right there with me. We are on the opportunity fund train as I like to call it. And there is absolutely room for everyone on this train. Thank you, Rebecca Markinson at $250. Now, we're going to go to, I see Karen Deaver Gilbert, Karen Du Gilbert. Karen, I'm just going to say Karen. Thank you. You are amazing, generous at $2,000. Thank you so much, Karen. So we are going to go to the $1,000 level. But if you happen to want to give more, feel free. This is just keeping it moving along in the interest of time. $1,000. I love this level. It can sponsor the startup cost for a volunteer-led troop in a low-income community. Now, that's about six young girls and one adult, and that's for an entire year. That includes membership costs, uniforms, badges, and possibly an outdoor overnight at camp or another activity the young girls choose. So again, think about that, being able to support a troop for an entire year for $1,000. Think about the things you might do with $1,000 and the impact you can make. And there's Elizabeth Tracy at $1,000. I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm going to say Elizabeth because I can see that for sure, but I am watching. I have thermometers. I have friends in our studio. We have Rhea cheering us on. Everyone is having an amazing time because we're right here in the offices. And there's Marina Park. Thank you, Marina, at $2,500. That is absolutely amazing. So we're going to keep going. But I'm, I'm telling you, if something struck you and you're still thinking, I could do a thousand and Tracy Teal at $2,500. Thank you, Tracy. We're going to keep going. Our next level is $500. And again, I love how Girl Scouts of Northern California, the way they take an amount of money and stretch it out to have such an amazing impact. Think about this. $500 can sponsor 10 girls to attend a staff-led badge program. Now, you saw Rhea, she had on her vest. You saw some of the other young women in the videos with their vests. These badges give girls the opportunity to explore their interests, learn new skills, and of course, who doesn't like a little swag on you? Show your personality. We have Kathy Kirkpatrick at $700. Thank you, Kathy. So, what I love is each year, new badges are coming up. The world keeps changing. In 2021, 28 new badges were introduced, including math and nature and technology badges to run their cookie business and growing digital leadership skills. Now, I don't know about you. I have seen a lot of young girls when I am waiting for my Caltrain. I see those young women and they have laptops set up and those girls know exactly what they're doing and how to sell those cookies. And they're doing it with technology, with the support of their Group leaders, their moms, their dads, their grandparents, their, their guardians, people just helping out. So now's your chance to help them with a little bit of swag with their badges and help them decorate their uniforms. That is at the $500 level. 
So I'm going to keep my eye on that, but I'm going to go on. But bear in mind those badges. Here we go. $250. And again, I love that there is an amount that I hope that everyone finds a place for $250. What that can help do that can help with our Girl Scout starter kit for four girls. And we have Carolyn Herman. I think at Henman Herman at $750. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. $250. So that $750 will do could do three of these. It's called our starter kit. Now, for those Girl Scouts whose families are struggling or lost their jobs due to the pandemic or lost their homes in fires, a gift of $250 can help four girls get on their feet with the starter kit. And that includes the vest the handbook and the insignia. So we know while fires, you know, it feels like we're, we're kind of pushing through and we're not as bad as we were. And I see more gifts, Maria Decker and Twyla. I'll just say Twyla, because that's a unique name. There cannot be more than one Twyla in this room, both at $500. So thank you so much. So with that opportunity fund, you know the fires continue to devastate California. We have scouts all over the place facing challenges. Many girls have lost their uniforms and all of their supplies. And we know the pride that one has is being able to put that uniform on to represent yourself as a Girl Scout. The opportunity funds helps replace those items. For my $250 donors, you're up. So again, you can click donate or text HERO to 366-283. And we are chugging right along. The amounts keep on coming up. So you all are amazing. I love that so many of you, and we have text to give at $1,000. Text to give for $1,000. Thank you. Thank you. You took, my, took me up on that offer. You may not want to set up the whole account, but text to give. Do that. Text HERO to 366-283. So folks, we are in the home stretch. I wanna make sure there's a level that everyone can think about. And remember, I did tell you something about $50, so hold on to that. Now, $100. When I think about $100, I start to think about, okay, how many times do I go to Ike sandwiches or get that Pete's latte? It adds up and $100 is such a practical way for you to help change a girl's life. Thank you, Cindy Benson at $100. With $100, what that will allow us to do is to mail the supplies for what is happening with so much activity taking place virtually, just like this event. What that could help do is help us to mail the supplies the young women and need to actually participate fully as scouts. So we want to make sure they have everything they need. So your gift goes way beyond the cost of mailing. Your gifts opens up a world of possibilities, including, as Rhea talked about, making lifelong friends, exploring the outdoors, and making a difference in their community. Now, I'm not sure about you, but I had no idea that the U.S. Postal Service could make such a big difference. Thank you, Dominique, at $100. And there's, I see we're still chugging along with the thermometer. We've got it coming in always, whether it's your text to give or whether you set up your account. And thank you, Leah Verhoeven, also at $100. Now, we're hitting our home stretch. And I'm going to take a moment just to explain some things to you. Ooh, we have Niracha at $1,000. I, I hope I have said your name correctly or even close, but what it matters is that gift, your generosity, and of course, we are incredibly grateful. So thank you so much. And they keep coming in. I, is that another thousand? Okay. It's happening everywhere, folks. I love this. I love this. I love the Girl Scouts. I was telling Rhea when we were just getting ready to go live, my young niece started off as a brownie and then was in Scouts. She didn't stay in as long as Rhea, but that truly made such a difference in her life. And I see ZM Newbert at $100. Thank you. So here we are. We're at the $50 level, and this is pretty special. We are going to do a little game, and it is called Last hero standing. So what you want to do is to be the last bid of $50 in the chat. So again, this is in the chat. We certainly don't mind you giving it by texting to give, but to be one of the considered people for last hero standing, you want to bid in the chat. Now, you ask yourself, so what happens if I'm that last bidder, Michael? Well, I'm going to tell you. You are bidding, and I see Judy, Judy Pick at $1,000. Thank you. So here's what you are bidding. You are bidding to win an ultimate beach getaway with accommodations for seven nights for four guests. You get to choose from any one of the following beach destinations, including Maui, Hawaii, 
That's not bad. Costa del Sol, Spain, even better. Los Cabos, Mexico, lovely, and Bali. Now, the flights aren't included and some restrictions may apply, but come on, folks. Who doesn't want to get away to the beach in a location of your choosing for a gift of only $50? Now, all the bids in the chat are actual donations and the team will follow up after the event to process them. And you can bid multiple times. I'm expecting this to get a little bit heated for this to be a little bit competitive because everyone wants to be that last person and I will count down so you will know if you indeed were that last person. So I'm gonna say, let's get the bidding started. And again, the goal is to be that last person bidding. Now, if you need something to think about as to like, okay, well, what can $50 do, Michael? I'm gonna tell you, $50. $50, membership in Girl Scouts usually averages around $40 a year. So again, your $50, that's literally the beginning of changing one young girl's life. Covering the cost of that membership with that opportunity fund, making access to Girl Scouts equitable with support of adults, unique experiences. And I love, people say all the time, they're like, girl power. It makes a difference. Think about when I think about that, that girl slogan, that G-I-R-L, go getter, innovator, risk taker, and leader. That truly defines the Girl Scouts. You know, we all know about the cookies, but they are doing a lot more than just selling cookies. We are really making a difference in these lives. So again, I'm gonna invite you all to go ahead and chat and start your bidding. And again, I'm just gonna keep my eye on that and we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna see what, get our chat up and we can see what is happening in that space with people making those bids. So we, we've got it going. You're thinking, we've got the four different trips. We have Maui, we have Spain, we have Mexico, and we have Bali. Now, I don't know about you, all of them sound great. I think I might do Bali. I've heard Indonesia is absolutely beautiful. Now, again, I'm not gonna be picky. For $50, you would wanna take any of those trips. But if there's something about that Balinese Indonesian moment that's really kind of getting me excited. And you know, for $50, why wouldn't you wanna just take a chance? And you know that you're actually making a difference. So I'm gonna keep my eye on the chat. I know you all are getting warmed up. This is the easiest part of the evening. You are not having to punch into any anything into your phone. You don't have to be registered. We will happily follow up with you and we will take a look and see if people are starting to get into their chat. There we go, I see. And it's happening, folks. It is kicking in. I see my most, the person who is last out is Marina, Marina Park, but you know, I'm gonna just let this simmer for a while because I'm sure there are some of you who are like, well, I've already given, or I haven't, and this is just $50. I might be that last person. I'm not sure when Michael is gonna do that final countdown, but here we are. We have a robust group of people who are in there who are making their best effort to be that last hero standing, or come on folks, you're at home. You're probably sitting on your couch or at your kitchen. So maybe it's last hero sitting, Hopefully not last year was slouching. I'm standing and I wanna encourage you all to think about doing that $50. I, and I love, we got way back, we got it. So it's kicking in. We have, uh oh, so it is, it is hugging and there's Peg McAllister. Peg is in it to win it. We're at $50 and she, we, she is our, she is not our last, last one, but she is our last most recent one. So I am starting in my head to think about how we're gonna start to do this countdown. And I see Herna has snuck in there. And again, it's $50. Think about that, $50 to go to Bali, Spain, Mexico. I think that's a good deal. And we're, we're chugging right along and I see you all are chiming in and, and I love, people are putting happy faces. I don't know if they want me to stop and think if I put a happy face, maybe Michael will actually do the countdown and I will indeed be that last hero standing. But I see it, I see the $50 and it's getting competitive. So here's what we may need to do as things are starting to come in and Alexandra is there and I see Anne is there. We have people bidding. Now remember, every time you bid, 
you're, com com you're committing to the $50. So I'm seeing some names and I see currently it's Alexandra is our lead. But you know, that could change. And if you really want one of those trips, you might want to be that person. But here's what we're going to do. We are going to shift gears because now Alexandra has been outbid. And I'm going to remind you that while we're having a good time and having fun, every single dollar we're raised is going to go to support the Opportunity Fund for the Girl Scouts of Northern California. So it is always wonderful to have an amazing time and to have a good time doing this. But we know it's all about the Scouts and making sure that absolutely every young girl who could possibly want to be a part of such an amazing organization in their local community has that opportunity. So, oh, now we're now we have some board member competition. I like that. I like when board members are in the room. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to shift the dial up and, and, and you I can't see if you're going to turn on me, but it's all for a good cause. We're going to shift the dial up to one hundred dollars because we want to wrap this up and we're going to go from 50. So I thank all of my 50s. I didn't know where we were going to land, but it got so competitive. So we are shifting to one hundred dollars and we are going to start beginning that process of the countdown. So my last one hundred dollar bid is going to be the person who gets that trip of a lifetime. So right now, what I see is they are, there's a person still at $50, which is great. And if we don't get in a $100 bid, that person will be the one who gets it. But I'm going to just let that sit for a moment, let you think about that. You know, what's 50 more dollars, folks? Now we're just talking about you, you don't get a venti, you get a small latte that week, and it all adds up. So here we go. I'm going to start the countdown, and I see who I think might be the winner, but we're going to let it all play itself out. So I'm going to go in five, four, three, two, one, and stop. So thank you. So my the wonderful technology folks, they're pulling out, they're pulling out their abacus their calculator, people are running around making sure that we have the absolute last person because we want to make sure we get this right. And again, I have to tell you, this has been an absolute delight being here with you all this evening, being able to learn more about these heroes, all of whom have a relationship and connection to the Girl Scouts. And all of them, as you heard, all shared about how their lives were changed, made better by their experience with Girl Scout. So you know you're in the right place this evening. You're in the right place to spend time with us. And I'm keeping my eye. It's, I feel like this is sort of like those shows. They're tabulating it behind the scenes. They're all adding it up. I can see things are starting to be written. We are finally getting down to our final hero. And I'm going to be letting you know in just a moment. Just to let you know, while we're getting that all bids made during the last hero in chat, their actual donations, we talked about that, and they'll be processed either by a greater giving or the team will be in contact with you if you actually didn't set up your account. So again, you can still support the Opportunity Fund. We've come to the end of that. We're getting our winner, but you can still make a gift for that, again, at gshero.ggo.bid, or you can text the word HERO to 366-283. Again, gshero.ggo.bid, or you can text the word HERO to 366-283. And folks, we have a winner. And I am delighted to say that the winner is Lillian Samuel. Lillian Samuel. So we are going to say thank you and congratulations to Lillian. I'm going to remind you that any amount you give will help support girls whose families are experiencing economic hardship or who've been affected by the natural disasters and ensure that all girls can experience all that Girl Scouts has to offer. So thank you for your generosity, Rhea. Yes, I am so moved by all of you and your generosity to Girl Scouts of Northern California. Thank you on behalf of all the girls in our council who will experience Girl Scouts because of your support. Thank you so much. We will, be, we will have a giving total to share with you in just a few minutes as well. Now, let's close the celebration out with one more giveaway for those of you who have stuck around. 
Since we could only have one winner of our last hero standing, I think it'd be a great idea to give those folks who are participating in the last hero as donors one more chance to win something. Our final giveaway for the evening is going to go to one of our donors who participated in the last hero standing. While the staff spins the wheel of names for us, let me tell you what the lucky winner gets. They get our GS NorCal swag bag, a tote, a box of the Adventureful cookies, a tumbler, and a $20 gift card from our retail store. Let's see who our winner is. And our winner is Alexandra Diaz. Congratulations, and the team will be in contact with you after this event for you to get all of your items. Thank you all for your generosity and for your time tonight. Before we close, we do want to share with you what we raised for our Opportunity Fund. Michael, do you have the results? Well, Rhea, I think I do. And again, we are pulling it all together. We're looking at thermometers. We're looking at texts. We're looking at people who did it on the greater giving and pulling this all together. So I want to remind you, this total, what this will do, and I, I feel like the drum roll is coming, will provide access to the essential Girl Scout experience for girls living in low-end commun communities or recovering from local disasters. So I want to just confirm, I see a total on the screen, but I'm going to make sure with my friends in the room that what I'm saying, I'm blown away. You all have been absolutely amazing. And we are coming up with our grand total. And here we go. I can feel it. The thermometer is chugging right along. And is what I'm seeing right here, is that a good number? Oh, we're doing a lot of calculating. I like it. We've got iPhones, Abacus. Here we go. And the grand total. Is $57,595. $57,595. So I'm going to want to call that 58. I'd love to call it 60. So again, you heard me tell you where you can go ahead and continue making gifts and being generous. You can do that with offline gifts. Yes. So feel free. You can do that. You can contact the office. You can continue giving at the numbers that we've been giving you. So I am delighted. You all have been absolutely amazing. Rhea. We hope that you enjoyed this virtual celebration as much as we did. It's so exciting to see all of you step up as superheroes for girls. Thank you. I hope you continue to be well and stay safe. Good night, everyone. And thank you so much.